Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Oppo Emmanuel, the card winner, and it is nice to have you. For those who've been here before, welcome back. And if you're new, oh, welcome, welcome to my channel. I am so excited to have you guys here. And so far, it's been great. I have 23 subscribers. Ooh. Now let's 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 increase it. Let's increase it. Please support your boy and subscribe to the channel. In today's video, we'll be doing a continuation of what I said in my last video. My last video talked about how to cite and reference your project or seminar work or whatever writing you're doing. Now today we're doing do a little bit of practical, yeah, a continuation of that. Now in the last video we talked about um we focused mainly on what citation is and the different kind of citation styles like upper format, MLA, IEE format, and Harvard and Chicago. We listed them, but we mainly focused on upper format because that's a format that is generally used in Nigeria. Correct me if I'm right, like I said in my last video. Correct me if I'm right. If I'm wrong, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, like I said in my last video. So before we talked about using upper format for one author, two authors, and three authors. Now in today's video, I'm going to focus on something different. So let's get to it. And before we go, please do click on the notification bell and do subscribe. Okay, so today, like I said, we're looking at something more practical. We're looking at getting journals, look how to get journals from, how to get references from journals or other materials. Some journals come with upper formats, why some come with IEE, some comes with MLA formats, why some come with Chicago or Harvard. And sometimes students get confused on how to select references from these journals. Now, if it's upper format, it's quite simple. You just look at the citation, then go down to the references to pick the format. But for MLA, IEE, they use numbers to represent numbers in superscript or subscript or numbers in and brackets, square brackets, or numbers in footnotes. Most times, students don't get don't get these references. Or sometimes they copy the numbers alongside with what they are writing. So today we we'll look at getting references from this journal. Now, our first example, we're looking at upper format. So let me show you something. So this is our first example. This journal uses the upper style of citation. As you can see here in the introduction, the first statement is continued consumption of meat and meat products can be ensured through tasty, nutritious, and safety meat supply for the consumers. The citation is Joe and Kim 2011. Now, I copy this statement, copy this statement, and take it to my work. Now, this is a citation. This citation was cited by the by this by this journal. Then I go to look for the reference in the reference section. Reference section. And it's important to note that in the upper format is arranged alphabetically. As you can see A, B, C, F. Yes, they are arranged alphabetically. So I'm going to look for J O O. This is my reference. So this is the reference and I'm going to pick my reference, copy and paste it in my work. So this is the upper style, like I said, it's quite easy. The name, the name and the, the name and the year appear in text, then you can find it easily in the reference. Okay now. Let's take a look at the example with the MLA format where there are numbers and how to get citations from those. What do numbers represent the references and how to get the citations? So I also mentioned the other type that uses numbers in brackets. Now, for this particular statement, when I copy this statement to use in my work, copy. The citation there is number one. Now, after picking that number one, after selecting my file, copy and paste it in my in my work, I go to look for number one. In this kind of referencing style, MLA and IEEE, 
they use the numbers go down to the reference tab the reference section i mean you will see that the number one yes yeah, stands for this is my reference number one is also the same thing as number one there you can see the difference there in for for upper format the name is written in text but for mla and ie the numbers are written in text the numbers correspond with the number on the reference now look at this one this part this particular one does not have This one, this particular journal, has its citations written as superscript numbers, unlike the other one that did numbers in brackets. Like I said, sometimes students just copy this thing and take the numbers alongside and they don't know what the numbers represent. Number one here stands for the number one reference in this work. So let's go down and see it. So number one, like just like the MLA, number one also represents number one so <laughs> coincidentally i think they are the same reference one one yeah but i do two different journals now and that thing i said is when i pick a particular statement from a journal i tend to reference the journal too now after picking the citation number one what i do most times is not like a standard but something that i like to do so as to give honor to the journal i'm copying it from i come here and also copy this number copy this journal and cite them as also the source of my information so from the examples you've seen i hope that you get the understanding of what i'm talking about now i'm going to go further to share some tips on proper reference and this is a very very simple thing now this is not a standard but this is what i do when i write when i on the site when i pick a particular source from a material or from another journal usually what most, of, what most people do is just pick the statement and the citation and just paraphrase what i do most times is to pick the citation and pick the source meaning that i will have two citations two citations from the, from the from a particular statement if i pick a sentence like the hospital pathogens colonize and survive on inanimate surfaces and yeah, i saw it in a particular journal i will cite the journal and cite the citation the journal cited i hope you understand that part if you don't understand we can verify that even further now another thing to notice when copying a particular statement when you are going to when you are doing your writing process and you've got a particular statement it's important that you paraphrase paraphrasing is important because of plagiarism god plagiarism in a situation where paraphrasing is not possible and you don't want to stain, change the statement of a particular author, you have to put the author in quotes, in what, in quotation marks. Quotation marks will show that yeah, this statement is not made by you and it cannot be changed. Then you cite the author, put the author in front or behind the author and behind the statement, I mean. Now, the last and very, very important thing, even especially for those who want to go further into publication and academic journals it's important that you look for original citations of a particular statement now you've seen a journal like examples i've seen i've showed us you've seen a journal you've, you've chosen a statement or you've chosen the citations now some journals may not cite properly which will lead to reference to nowhere now reference to nowhere happens when a particular statement you copy does not really exist or has nothing to do with that particular author you cited. I will come again. Reference to nowhere happens when that particular statement you made in your work or it's not connected to the author you cited. Now, sometimes this, is, this, this may not be our fault, but it can be corrected when we track down the original content so that proper citations and referencing can be done. So we can afford, we can avoid what we call citation propagation now these are the few points i'm going to share in in this video and i hope that this content has been of help to you and please if it has been of help to you please do put a thumbs up give it a like so youtube can recommend this video to other people and click the subscribe button to support your boy for the channel and thank you thank you for listening see ya in the next video
Bye.